Welcome back guys to Superstar Saga where Luigi is separated from Mario after facing a boss with my dodging skills were not really up to par. Mario has been dumped below, way way below, in fact I can't even get to him because he's just passed here. I can't even switch to him at this point in time, stuck in a Chocola Cola reserve barrel. We have what we need most likely, but now that we're separated, problems come, will I have to fight on my own? It looks like I'll have to. Well, Luigi is our powerhouse, so let's break through if there's only one of you as well. We should be quite okay. Can we defeat you in one hit? Not just about. But if we counter, we'll get you nicely. Alright then, Luigi, time to get some experience up over your brother, I feel. Let's keep on continuing onwards, because there's no way we can do any of our skills like our super... Oh, don't jump on him! Luigi, okay, that's cool, but there's an enemy that we really need to take out right now. I don't want to take the damage after all. It seems my HP and my BP get refueled after a boss battle, so that's quite nice. No ins or anything, always recovery items, but still. I'll take the experience and run with it. To be honest, if there are any beans in the ground at this point in time, I couldn't get them even if I wanted to. Let's break our way through and save Mario! Luigi. I'll miss my fight again there. I need to get the preemptive on them because no matter what, I always attack second by the look of it. Ah, a bit too early of the jump. Of course, Luigi's defense is quite amazing. Now, mind you, we don't want to jump on Spike. That's just tempting fate, but 22 damage is enough to take you out in one shot. And this time around, we get the preemptive. We get the stun. Will we be able to attack twice with this? We did increase the speed after all. I'd hope so, but... Yes, I knew you were charging through, but the jump was just a little bit too late. Break you down. I wonder how much it is till Luigi's level at this point in time after we just did the boss battle. Only never I went 8-4 and... <laughs> Luigi holding up that photo there going, Oh, Mario, this is Mario's stats. I'm pretending to be Mario. It's only 44 for Luigi, so he's getting ahead of Mario here. A couple of battles, they're giving him all the stats he needs. He's going to overtake his brother. Not the charge through one. Ah! 25 damage will take you down without an issue. Alright, seems to be a guest block over here, so let's find out what's inside, another mushroom. We can top up our HP as needed, but our defense is pretty good. As long as we keep claiming all the items and the coins, we can buy new equipment again whenever we need it, and get that massive power spike again, hopefully. Nothing hidden in between. I always think there's going to be hidden blocks around, but no! Let's break you out, eh? Uh, Mario! Bye-bye, yeah. me! I didn't check out an area to the right. Oh! We'll roll it all the way home by the look of it. And even explode. Oh my goodness! Hmm, oh look at this! A very Mario-esque fellow and a Lu uh, some other guy! <laughs> what? What is it? Mario's gut is filled to the brim with Chocola Reserve, sloshing around his insides? Gross! Exactly what I was thinking! <laughs> That's terrible! It's sort of disgusting! We must contact Lady Lima immediately! Hmm, by the way, what's Chocola Reserve? Shh, I have no idea. These guys are useless. Pretty much applied for the brawn here, but what's about to happen is probably really quite disgusting. <laughs> Queen Bean has been in a deep sleep, just as you see her now. Did you truly obtain some of the legendary Chocola Reserve? Indeed I did, but this is going to be horrible. I will press B when I'm ready for it. Bluff! That's exactly what I'd say anyway. Oh, that's one of the evil worms. That's the belly black worm! Squash it with your hammer quickly! Don't just let it escape, you know what it can do. Yeah! Oh, 
a success! A truly repugnant, yet truly tremendous success! Queen Bean has returned! She's lost her big arms now. Ah, it's the hardest I've laughed in a long, long time! Well done, Lady Lima! No, Your Highness, it's not I, but rather the Mario Bros whom you must thank. Hmm, so Cacolette has stolen Princess Peach's voice in the Bean Star. It was my fault! Nonsense! Why would Cacletta steal the Beanstar and Princess Peach's voice in the first place? Good question! The Beanstar is the protector of this land and it has the power to grant any and all desires. To prevent such power from being used for evil, the Beanstar was cast into a deep sleep. It is said that a voice of great beauty is required to awake the Beanstar from slumber. It must be the voice of a pure and noble soul. In this day and age, Princess Peach is the only one who possesses such a voice. So the reason Cacletta stole Princess Peach's voice? Aha! She must plan to awaken the Beanstar and fulfill all of her desires. And there's no mistaking her one true desire, to rule the world! Indeed, laughter. Fear not, I foresaw this desire of hers long, long ago. We are prepared. Card for card, we have a better hand than she. Really? Your Highness, Prince Peasley has arrived! Perfect timing! Master Mario, Master Luigi, head out to meet Prince Peasley! Okay, I will, Mrs. Jump Up and Down. Head out to meet Prince Peasley! Okay, okay, chill. I'll get there. And where are we going? Where's Prince Peasley? It would be great if no one attacked the town or castle anymore. Yeah, that'd be nice. In general, yeah, considering the destruction laid upon it. Hello, Prince Peasley! You dashing guy, you! Cheers to Red and Greeny! Thank you for your help earlier! Yes, thanks to you, my secret mission is about to pay off! <laughs> Indeed, laughter. Dazzling fellow. Prince Peasley! Excellent work on your mission! Have you learned the whereabouts of Cacletta? <laughs> thanks to you! Absolutely! Southeast of this castle is Woohoo University! Woohoo University, that's quite a thing to say. Our local research institution! Cacletta and underlings have just snuck in there into Woohoo University! Yes, of course! Woohoo University, they're making me say it. It's the perfect place to awaken the Bean Star. I intend to march into Woohoo University right this instant! May we meet again! Indeed, sparkling light dazzling guy! Master Mario, Master Luigi, this may be your chance to recover Princess Peach's voice. I shall inform the locals that you are to be allowed passage on the road to Woohoo University. Yes, ma'am. Where's that? Which way? Which way? Left, right, someplace. Where do I go? Well, there's a new room, so I'll check this out. Mm, I have to begin making repairs to the Castle Court Gardens. They're right above us. Is that where I'm going? The room on the right is called the Chest of Knowledge. It's full of useful tips for travelers. That's where we keep a store of books left behind by adventurers who once visited our castle. Ooh. Let's find out what's going on in the chest of knowledge. If you strike monsters with your hammer as you enter battle, they'll be stunned and the fight start. Guess that one. Once you successfully perform a bros attack multiple times, you'll understand advanced commands. Really? Will I? Because it didn't say anything extra on it. The higher your stash points are, the easier it is to get lucky hits in battle. So they're critical, they're luck, basically, then, I guess. When the shopkeepers in this land see a fine smooth moustache, they become strangely generous. So stash points give critical hit and discounts by the look of it. Did have a discount percentage when we did check the item house, so must be that. Jump along in merry glee, because well, there is not a place left for me to see. Now which way to Woohoo University? This is Beaming Castle! Well, I'm glad you know that much, Mr. Idiot Guards, who don't know anything. Right, we got a right and a left to go to, have we? We haven't checked along these paths, so let's find out what's inside here, eh? Warp pipes, eh? So we can get back and forth nice and easily. And this would be an unactivated one. Hey, hey! Welcome to the Pipe House! I'm here to teach you everything you want to know about pipes! Want to ask about pipes? Sure! Which do you want to ask about? The green pipes or... We haven't seen any yellow pipes, but the green pipes are simple warp pipes, right? 
Wide right, green. Jump in a green pipe to walk to another green pipe elsewhere in this land. You just choose a green pipe you've jumped in before and you'll walk to it easy peasy. So if you find a green pipe, you better jump in on principle. Seriously, just for a second. The more green pipes you jump into, the easier it'll be to travel around the kingdom quickly. There are nine green pipes in all, okay? Got that? Can I stop there? No, no, tell me more. I want to know about these yellow pipes that we haven't seen. Yellow pipes are for travel between the sea floor and the surface, or between above and below ground. What? There are lots in oceans and desert areas, so when they're in those regions, jump in the yellow pipes. Can I stop there? Yes, you can. See you later. Bye, pipe guy. Study a little on your own. We got several red pipes, and then there's a green pipe. And now he's, you know, having to go at me because I asked, rather than just one. Ooh, way down here. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Where can I go from here? Interesting. Right, we found ourselves a little maze of which this path is nothing. Now getting to the end of this kind of maze is a lot easier than going through the walkable path before, so I can get into one room from this side. That room seems to be a way back. Uh, slightly confused about the point of this, because that wall is opposite another place? Is that a shortcut in or something? I don't know. And basically all we really just did was go round. Which didn't turn out to be as exciting as possible, but maybe it's a future entrance in or something along those lines. Maybe it's something we need a little later. Now we're less in the storyline trail, less battling enemies, and more exploring and finding out what things are going on. Right, so is the castle gardens this way? Oh, hello guy! Oh yes, yes, you are perfect! How about a picture? Right, oh yeah, let's do it! I'll snap a great picture of you. Well, want a picture taken? Yeah, sure. Okay, one picture is a ah, 100 coins. No thanks, what? No, you don't want your picture taken, not at all. Oh, the life of an artist is so hard sometimes. Okay, how about for 50 coins? No, I'm fine. We'll leave it at that. Are you just to replace my passport photos if I don't like the one I've currently got on? Is that his role? There's another one you can help me with in the comments before I cough up the dough. If it's something special, then maybe I'll take it, but if it's not, then it's kind of like a meh kind of thing. Right, where are we now? Back in town, but things seem to be in a lot better shape lately. Take a super mushroom here. A who bean. I missed that one completely. There we go, some syrup. On the island out to sea, on the right edge of the map, there is a place where you can learn hand powers. Did you know that? No. I suppose that makes sense. There's no reason you should know. In fact, I've only heard rumors of it myself. Hand powers, you say? What can I do with those, then? Well, more nuts than ever. Oh, there's been sorry. They look like the nuts. I quite like the nuts. They give me a fair bit of money. Or a fair bit of HP, even. What am I talking about? My brain's gone everywhere. Is there anything you understand? You should ask the town super expert. Of course, it doesn't give out super advice for free. I'm sure I ask for a little bit of that. A little bit of that, you mean a little bit of money. The most important thing to do is something, but they say that saving is the best traveler's insurance around. Sure. We don't know what you said in the first place, and I'll never know now. But you guys can press pause and find out. Right, where are we going now? Sheesh, for some reason my grandpa's been saying really bizarre things lately. Maybe it's just his age, but he's so loud there's no ignoring him. I bet if you press the L and R button simultaneously, you'll both switch to the solo jump icon. I bet that's useful for when those little ledges you have to get up just to fort. That's a really good tip, actually. A really amazingly good one. Oh, excuse me, guys. It's kind of a dumb question, but, uh, you know when you jump on the other guy? Well, what if you just then, when the other guy was about to get, you know, jumped on, what if you moved out of the way at the last second? What would happen? Don't you ever wonder? Not I need an answer. I wouldn't spend too much time thinking about it or anything. Okay. What if he would move out of the way? Well, it seems kind of hard to get him to move out of the way, to be honest. Yo, 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 bros, you two traveling dudes. I'm like hurting over here in a big, big way, bros. Can you help a bean out? With what? Seriously, bros, my little pet beanlets up and took off from me. Poor little doodlets. If you can catch all five of them for me, I'll totally make it worth your while. You'll be like, score. Beanlets are all tiny and green and stuff. Plus, they're all around. You can't miss them, seriously. Thing is, they ain't, you know, super mobates. No way these little dudes would have left town. Go 
on, bros. I know you guys can take care of business. Get your super on. Well, they're green and all round, are they? Where am I supposed to find them? That's a question. Are you the Mr. Super Expert guy, then? Will you sell speech bubbles? I'm confused. <laughs> Welcome. Despite appearances, this is the most definitely a shop. The product we deal in is information. So would you like some quality information for only 100 coins? How about it? No thanks. Do, 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 go. If you ever find yourself at a loss, drop by. We'll always have fresh, tasty information waiting for you. Well, I do wonder what this information is. How much coins do I have? Well, 618 isn't bad. I think we can cough up. Let's find out what one bit of super information is, then. Then I'll just take your coins! Which information do we get? Southeast of town is dear old Woohoo University. The center for laughter research. Everyone says Cacletta went there after stealing the bean star. That's all- Oh, ah, oh, ah! Oh. That was rubbish information. We already have that information. We don't need that information. It's rubbish information. Give me some information that's useful. Oh my! Aren't you marrying Luigi, the superstar brothers from the Mushroom Kingdom? Wow, you're even cooler in person! But uh, Prince Peasley is way cooler than you, no offense. Uh, one thing I'm wondering is, this isn't- this is an item shop? Oh, you fixed your item shop, have you? Welcome to the item shop! We have anything you could want! So what do you want to do? Well, I'll buy some stuff, but I'm gonna see what you have first. One up mushrooms you sell? Well, we've got tons of items and everything, and our stash points give us quite a bit percent off, supposedly. But I don't want anything at the moment, we'll leave that for now. What we should check is if the equipment shop has more stuff. Supposedly, the shop in Little Fungi Town has lots of products that we don't carry here. I'm sure they do. Shops differ from place to place, natural ingredients all around. But what are we looking for? We still haven't found one of those things. I was expecting to see one near me. Woohoo University is a center of all scientific research in the Beaming Kingdom. Apparently, it's southeast of the town, not that I've been there. I'd love to study up and become a researcher at Woohoo University. You just want to make me say that all the time, don't you guys? Alright then, so this brings us back around to here. And this is the wrecked part of town, which doesn't look so wrecked anymore, looks quite fitted out. Which makes me wonder, what do you have to sell? As you can see, this is a fashion house frequented by celebrities like me, but I offer prices you'd never expect from a high class boutique. Well, I'm wondering what I can buy first of all. And the hot fashions, we've got ourselves tons more stuff, parasol pants, Hard pants, hard jeans. So that doesn't increase... Oh no, that does increase a little bit of HP, but then lowers defense a fair bit. We've got hard pants, which increases defense quite nicely. And this one boosts defense during battles. Now, in what way? I'd rather go with straight defense, to be honest. I don't know, I'll go with the hard pants. Straight pants seem to... Ah, hard pants seem to work better. Straight defense seems to work better. So we've got spiky killer jump for the beam be badge. Oh, is that what power I'll be giving up, is it? It is indeed. So we've got power D here. Increases counter attack damage. It lowers the power, lowers the BP, but then increases our counters if I get them right, which is not something I often get. The charity badge, manager special. We've got a beam B badge. Well, to be honest, I think the spike killer badge is pretty amazing so I don't want to switch that just yet but the charity badge is really quite nice itself just that overall power up Mario would actually overtake Luigi in terms of overall power if I switch that on to him I think to be honest at the moment I'll leave the badges for now I think the badges I've got are kind of okay Sure you will, so I can sell stuff there as well, so that's not bad. Window shopping is free, it better be. I guess everywhere's open up now, and that's one of the guys we're after, is it? But how do I get up there? Well, from here, it seems, you've got a beanlet. So we've got one of the few beanlets. Are they in the houses or something? Well, we can check houses for goodies all the same. Seems we're going to be stuck in this town for a little bit then. Right, one beanlet found. We know, now know exactly what they look like, so that's not bad. What else have we got here? In battles, the L and R buttons are useful for moving back to the previous menu. That might be useful. If you perform advanced commands with bros attacks, you can damage spiked creatures. Strike two foes simultaneously and gain other bonuses as well. How? In the ground in this kingdom, there are said to be pits that are invisible to the naked eye. When tiny people stand on top of these invisible pits, the tiny people will react strangely. And playing on a Nintendo GameCube will cause the controller to react. Unfortunately, I don't have that power. 
If you keep powering up the same ability when you level up, you won't get high bonus wheel numbers. Ah, so I have to rotate, do I? Which is kind of what I've been doing a little bit. A lot of bugs decided to move into my old books, so I'm airing them all out. It's cheap fumigation, expose your books to sunlight and wind, and it'll keep the bugs away. I'm sure it will, but we've only found one bean thus far. Aha! Saying that, we've now found two. They seem to have moved into this part of town, really. And then on top of this building, then. Oh, there's one bound in the back. I saw it. I saw it. Hello, big guy. Can you tell me how to beat you? Durr! Once in a while, I get the urge to go nap under a roof. Then I'll rent myself a room. Durr! But even then, they're really big enough for me. This room is nice, isn't it? It has a heater and a window and no old baffle toilet. It's three years old and three seconds of the cafe. But as nice as it is, you can't have it. I just now rented it to that fellow over there who keeps getting in my way. How dare he? I'll stop him one day. To be honest, I've got to go around here. Pick up beanlet number three. So we need two more beanlets around, eh? Nothing beats a cup every morning when you wake up. Without it, I think I just hate this town, I'm sure, but we've got ourselves more beanlets to find, so we'll continue checking out the town now that it's being rebuilt next episode. Plus, I think a little bit back, there are definitely gates that we could pass through. So it's all about a little bit of exploration before we continue onwards. Tune in next time for more Superstar Saga. And I'll see you around. Bye-bye.